Hey, Forge fans, with you post-game as Forge FC drop their season opener in BC against Pacific FC in a rematch of the 2021 CPL Final. This one again going Pacific's way. Final 2-1 in favor of the boys from BC. Now they scored early and they were able to contain the Forge attack and limit quality chances. Full marks go to Pacific and they were opportunistic with their chances. Forge made a couple of mistakes and defensively ended up in the back of the goal. Two on the final in favor of the, favor of, uh, the home side is Forge. Despite winning two out of the first three Canadian Premier League finals, they're still winless in season openers. 0-2-2 oh, two two in four tries. Last season, Forge didn't even score until their third match of the season. So the club, not known for their great starts, more so how they finish. Uh, now, Pacific got things started early in the fifth minute. Diaz, who wasn't even available for Pacific in the CPL final, available today and made his mark early in the fifth minute, opening the scoring. And uh, Pacific would add to that lead. It was Didich in the 57th minute, forged down two goals for most of the second half. Now, there was a glimmer of hope when Ashton Yodianson scored for Forge in the 89th minute, but that's as close as the boys from Hamilton would get 64%. That was the possession in favor of Forge, but only two shots on target on 12 attempts. Forge coach Bobby Smirniotis spoke post-game about his club's inability to capitalize on their chances. The other thing's about looking at the, where our spots were in the box. You know, did we make the right runs? Did we make the right movements? Uh, because like you said, uh, you know, we got the ball in there in the dangerous areas and the zones we want to get it to. You know, so it doesn't come by accident. It's something that we work on a lot. Um, but, you know, the sharpness is about putting the ball in the, in the net and those final runs and those final movements. That's something we'll look at and continue to work on it today. Now, on the flip side of that, Pacific, very efficient with their opportunities. Um, they hit the goal with six of their eight attempts. Christopher Galongo, Forge's 17-year-old keeper, was busy filling in for Tristan Henry. Forge coach Bobby Smirniotis had a positive outlook despite the loss. A lot of regulars not available. Um, Henry, as mentioned, Forge's Welshman as well. We've talked about the club's depth this season and the role it would play when it comes to managing minutes. And Coach Smirniotis talked about his depth post game. Well, the one thing we have is a lot of versatility in the lineup. You know, you look at today, and uh, due to like, some uh, small knocks, we're missing players like Tristan Henry, uh, Tristan Borges, um, Emery Welshman, um, who, are, who are back home. And just for precautionary reasons, you, know, you don't want anything to get worse as we go forward. But the one thing that we do is we have depth in the team, you know, so we can uh, easily adjust things. And, you know, on many days, you would have noticed that these guys were, were missing three field today. So I thought our quality was uh, was very good. So I'm very happy with uh, with seeing the guys and how they stepped into the into the games. And some guys have to step in and play important roles, like Chris Colombo in the goal and Quasi Polky who comes in. You know, it's not easy sometimes coming in, uh, so early into the game. You know, as a, as a substitute, and it was an important role he had to play in some of the tactical stuff that uh, we were working with on the on the left side of the pitch today. So I thought, you know. That's what you need your depth for, and I think that's very important in how you build uh, build the club and how you build success over long term. Well, Forge now already looking ahead to Saturday, April 16th, 4 o'clock kickoff at Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton Forge FC's home opener. They'll take on their old rivals, Cavalry FC. We'll see you there.